Hey people, this is Aniket from DOI Geek. Today I'm going to show you how you can install any source of light in projector by fooling the motherboard so that the projector would stay on instead of shutting off and giving an error like it would without a lamp inserted. After you can install LED bulb, CFL, normal bulb, halogen lights or LED lights. Actually I got this Epson unit from one of my organization where I am working and they don't want to spend on installing new lights rather is go for the uh, new unit. If you want to replace the old light with the new one then it will cost around 10k to 12k Indian rupee which is around uh, $150 to $180. So let's get started. I don't want to spend your much time so I already opened for you uh, you can see that uh, one ribbon cable inside it so I have to remove it so now we can let me focus it now you can see that uh, I already removed the lights and the power supply because I don't want to further use it and I am going to install the LED light in it so before doing that we have to see what it having so actually it has three LED you can see here uh, that is ribbon cable uh, red blue green these three images are adding together with the help of lenses to create final images okay so in next step which two are from its control cable send the lamp ok indication we have to sort it out and we have to fool the projector so that it will still turn on after removing the light also now we can see that uh, i already removed the lights here it is already you can hear the sound because it is i think it is blast and this is the power supply so we can see how can we sort it out the two wires so that uh, we can install any other lights okay let me focus it we can see the blast has a digital control circuit mounted vertically with three opto isolator near the input output cable we can see the input output cable is here uh, these chips are necessary to ensure that the digital low voltage with the motherboard it don't mix with the high voltage present in the rest of the blast uh, here we can observe that two opto isolator are facing left side and only one are facing the right side this right opt was a output sent to the main board to tell that the lamp was operating perfectly fine so we can sort out these two wires that goes to the right side facing opts which is found by me with the help of multimeter and you can see that uh, this opto isolator is more, uh, facing right side and we can see that okay we can see that the here the wire is going to the hole slot so we have to figure it out in the motherboard that which to wire we have to sort it out so that the projector turn on okay so okay i set up it for you uh, to demonstrate okay we can see that uh, the right facing opto isolator which is having two inputs and we can see that there is a two wires which is near about in my case it is brown and red so we have to sort it out with the jumper cable and here we can see, see that if you want to sort out from here we can sort out here also uh, this is my jumper cable you can see that this is a normal cable but uh, I am using as a jumper cable and 
uh, okay and we can see that here this red wire and the brown wire so we have to sort it out with the help of jumper cable just let me put it we can put it from other side also but it is better to put from this side yeah that's it and uh, let me power this on and i will show you the demo uh actually i added the ribbon cable wire with the motherboard and here we can see that i think so it is not visible here this is a safety door open switch we have to tape it so that we can remove the uh, cover and we can check it whether it is power owning or not so okay just let me power it on now this is power it on and let me switch on here the beep sound and now you can see that the red light is not blinking for the lamp and it is successfully full it okay uh, let me demonstrate one more thing uh, with the help of my uh, usb light here is my usb light and i will show you whether it is working or not let me switch it on yeah this is on and let me power off my uh, room lights and table lamp too so, okay i'm going to switch off the light my table lamp and now we can see the projection let me switch on the menu you can yeah see uh, right now it is not in focus because it is too close to the wall so we can't uh, focus it see the menu is working correctly so okay let me switch it on uh, now you can see that the light is coming from the projector and it is successfully fooled that's it for today but in my future video i will show you how to install 10 watt led 50 watt led and 100 watt led which cost you around uh, 500 to 2000 indian rupees which is around 7 dollar to 30 dollar and you will get excellent performance as the original one so if you like my video please give a thumbs up and subscribe my channel for the future updates on this project and if you have any questions then comment below in the comment section yeah that's it for now this is aniket from doi geek signing off